How you doing? Thank you for tuning in to this here video presentation by Mr. Larry Whittington, or as he want to be known, Mr. Witt. Mr. Whittington knows all about mathematics, and that is why he founded the Fort Bend Tutorings. Today we're going to learn about word problems. Not the kind where you curse people out, but the mathematical kinds. The kind I don't be understanding at all. All right, get your ink pen and your pencil ready. Take notes, because you're finna learn from Mr. Witt. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring and today's tutorial is going to be about age word problems. Word problems that deal with someone's age. Alright, so let's take a look at problem number one here. It says that four less than two-fifths Georgia's age is six. Find Georgia's age. So, as of right now, we don't know what Georgia's age is, right? So that's going to be my unknown value. So I'll be defining my variable George as x all right so george's age is x next i'll translate this into an equation it says four less than two-fifths george's age is six so anytime you see the phrase less than or subtracted from you always put the second part first so i'm going to start by placing two-fifths george's age minus four that has to equal to six so here's my equation so four less than two-fifths Georgia's age is six, find Georgia's age. Well, this is my equation now. So two-fifths x minus four equals to six. I'm gonna start by getting rid of the fraction by multiplying each and every term by five. So I'll have five times two-fifths x minus five times four equals to five times six. My fives will cancel out next and I'll bring down two x minus 20 equals to 30. Then I'll be adding 20 to both sides of the equal sign, like so. And the 20s cancel out. I bring down 2x, which now equals to 50. And dividing both sides by 2, I end up with x equaling to 25. So Georgia's age is 25 years old. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's problem number one, just like that. All right, let's move on to our next problem here. In six years, Maurice will be twice as old as Lanicia was when they met six years ago. If their ages total 78 years, then how old are they now? All right, so let's look at that. So first of all, I have two people here. I have Maurice. I also have Lanicia. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out which of these two people I don't have any information on. Well, I do know that in six years, Maurice will be twice as old as Lanicia was when they met six years ago. And I also know that their total ages is going to total 78 years. So what we can do is we can say, okay, well, I don't know Maurice's age, so that's going to be X. Mm -hmm. And that Lanicia's age could be written as 78 minus X, like so. So remember, they told us that if their ages total 78 years, so once again, Maurice's age would be X, whereas Lanicia's age would be the difference of 78 years in X. So that's 78 minus X. So it says in six years, Maurice will be twice as old as Lanicia was when they met six years ago. All right, so we're going to have to add six years to Maurice's age. So this is going to be X plus 6. And then he'll be twice as old as Lanicia was when they met six years ago. So this is going to be twice as old as Lanicia's age. And we're subtracting six from Lanicia's age because the equation says when they met six years ago. So this is Lanicia's age six years ago, and this is Maurice's age six years from now. So once again, in six years, Maurice will be twice as old as Lanicia was when they met six years ago. So this is going to be my equation right here, ladies and gentlemen, just like that. So I'm going to start by combining my like terms inside of the parentheses here. I'll bring down x plus 6, which equals to 2 times 72 minus x. Then I'll distribute here. So I've got my arrows popping. I have x plus 6 equals to 144 minus 2x. All right. From there, we're going to add 2x to both sides. And I'm going to also subtract 6 to both sides of the equal sign as well. And this will give me 3x on the left side of the equal sign, which now equals to 144 minus 6, which is 138. Then, dividing both sides by 3, we find out that x equals to 46. 
So we now know that X equals to 46. So that's Maurice's age. So if Maurice is 46, then 78 minus 46 will tell us what Lanesia's age is, which is 32. And those are the solutions to this word problem. Maurice is 46 years old and Lanesia is 32 years old. And notice these two ages add up to 78. Okay, so that is problem number two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on to the next one. All right, in this next problem, Richard's father is twice Richard's age. 11 years ago, Richard's father was three times Richard's age. Find their present ages. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. We have Richard and we have Richard's father. And, ladies and gentlemen, I already know that Richard's father is twice Richard's age. So let's say that Richard is the unknown value. We don't know how old Richard is, but we do know that Richard's father is two times as old as he is. All right. Then it goes on to say that 11 years ago, Richard's father was three times Richard's age. So since we're going back in time, we need to subtract those years from both of their ages. My equation will be written as follows. It will be Richard's father's age 11 years ago, so that will be 2x minus 11, will have to equal to three times Richard's age 11 years ago. So this is going to be my equation. So here we have the father's age, which is 2x minus 11 to go back 11 years. Then I have it equal to three times Richard's age minus 11 years. So that's what our setup will look like. From there, we'll go ahead and solve for the equation. So I'm going to start by distributing here. So I got my arrows popping. So I bring down 2x minus 11, which equals to 3x minus 33. Then I'm going to subtract 2x to both sides. And if you'll permit, I'll go ahead and add 33 to both sides as well. All right? So just like this. From here, my 2x's cancel out. I bring down 22, which equals to x. And that's how old Richard is, ladies and gentlemen. OK? So Richard is currently 22 years old. And Richard's father is twice as old as he is, is going to be 44. So these are our solutions for this word problem. Richard is 22, whereas Richard's father is 44. And that's it. That's going to be the answer, ladies and gentlemen. That was problem number three. And now we move on to problem number four. Let's take a look at it. All right. Debbie's age is 40% of her father's age. Ten years from now, Debbie's age will be 50% of her father's age. How old are Debbie and her father now? All right. So we have two people involved. We have Debbie and we have the father. All right. So Debbie's age is 40% of her father's age. So we don't know how old her father is. So that's going to be X. But we do know that Debbie's age is 40% of her father's age. So we'll write that as 4 tenths X, converting that percent into a decimal. So this is going to be the initial setup. It says 10 years from now, Debbie's age will be 50% of her father's age. So we'll write our equation as 4 tenths X plus 10. That'll get us 10 years from now. That'll have to be equal to 50% of her father's age is half of that. So I can use 0.5 of her father's age, which is going to be x plus 10. All right, so this is going to be my setup here. So this takes Debbie's age 10 years from now, and this says half of her father's age 10 years from now, because remember that value of x is her father's age. Now what I'll be doing here is I'll be multiplying everything by 10 to get rid of those decimals, exactly. So I'll be multiplying each and every term by 10, which is my smallest place value, and that will help me get rid of all of the decimals. So multiplying each and every term by 10. That's what we're doing here. All right. From there, ladies and gentlemen, 10 times 4 tenths just gives me 4x plus 10 times 10, which is 100, which equals to 10 times 5 tenths. That just moves that decimal one place to the right to give me 5 times the quantity of x plus 10. And now I have rewritten my equation without any decimals. From there, I'm going to distribute. So I have my arrows popping. So I'll bring down 4x plus 100 equals to 5x plus 50. Next, I'll be subtracting 4x to both sides of the equal sign. And I'm going to also subtract 50 to both sides as well. 
My 4x's cancel out, 50's cancel out, so I'm left with 50 as Debbie's father's age, just like that. So here, ladies and gentlemen, going back to our definition, we have how old are Debbie and her father now? We know that the father's age is 50, and we know that Debbie's age is going to be 40% of that, which is going to be 20. So these are our solutions here, 20 and 50. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's problem number four. All right, let's check out the next problem, problem number five. Connie is 15 years younger than Linda. When Connie got married, she was two-thirds Linda's age. How old was Connie when she wed? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have two people involved. We have Connie and we have Linda. All right. Linda's my mom's name. All right, so just letting you know. A little inside baseball. And Connie is my aunt. So here we have Connie and we have Linda. So that being the case, ladies and gentlemen, we now know that Connie is 15 years younger than Linda. So Linda is going to be my variable X. I don't know anything about Linda's age, but I do know that Connie is going to be 15 years younger than Linda. So I can write that as X minus 15. Remember, your main goal here, ladies and gentlemen, is to try to write an equation using only one variable. So when possible, try not to add additional variables to your word problems, okay? Then it goes on to say that when Connie got married, she was two-thirds Linda's age. How old was Connie when she wed? All right, well, let's check it out. So we're going to say that X minus 15, which is Connie's age, is going to be two-thirds Linda's age. Okay, so we know that the difference between Connie and Linda is always going to be 15 years, so that's why Connie's age is going to be X minus 15. But we do know that when Connie wed, she was two-thirds the age of Linda. So this equation helps us solve that problem. I'm going to start by getting rid of my fractions by multiplying everything by 3. So this is going to be rewritten as 3 times x minus 3 times 15 equals to 3 times 2 thirds x, like so. Then I'll be bringing down 3x minus 45, which equals to the 3's cancel out here to bring down a 2x. From here, I'll be subtracting 3x to both sides. So I now have negative 45 equals to negative x, but I don't want that negative to be in place, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 to find out that x equals to 45, ladies and gentlemen. So Linda is 45 years old, and 45 minus 15 is going to give you 30. So Connie got married when she was 30 years old. Done and done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be problem number 5. So ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this age word problems tutorial from Mr. Witt and Fort Bend Tutoring. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you're able, please donate. Peace. We're going to be learning about such things as linear, quadratics, system of equations, tables, mixtures, work, oh Lord, distance, interest, which I don't have much, investment. This is my favorite one. I'm going to name my grandbaby consecutive integers, <laughs> algebraic translations, and percents. I understand a little bit about my cents. I know that 50% off is pretty good.